Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, another Windows 10 build update video for you guys. Uh, today we're doing build 14.328, which I actually updated tonight. Uh, and this one is a huge update because there's so many features. So I'm going to give you guys my top 15 features that I like so far. Uh, top number one is Windows Ink. Uh, and if you guys are wondering why I'm looking in the bottom is because, again, I have my trusty little black book and I have all my notes here. Because, uh, again, there's so many features happening in this build. So, again, top number one is the Windows Ink feature. Uh, if you right click on your taskbar, you're going to see a new option that says show Windows Ink workspace button. Now, this option is mostly for those individuals that are using Windows 10 as a tablet form, such as the Surface Pro. If you have a pen, this would definitely be enabled by default. But Microsoft was nice enough to give this option to us to enable it manually for those individuals that don't have a pen. So if you click on it, you're going to see a nice little option right here and uh, click on it. And once you click on it, you get this. You got sticky notes, uh, sketch pad. Uh, screen sketch, which is pretty awesome. Let's do sticky notes and see what we could do. And I'm just going to type. Awesome. Cool. That's not that bad. All right. Let's close that up. Uh, let's try another option. Let's go into uh, Sketchpad. Oh, that's pretty cool. And you, it gives you options right here in the upper right corner to uh, make modifications to your pen, the size of the pen, uh, the marker size, the color, and all that stuff, which is pretty awesome. That's cool, especially if you're a person using Windows 10 as a tablet form. Like myself, I use a Surface Pro. This would definitely work with the Surface Pro. Top number two, now the Start menu. It looks like within the Start menu, a lot of stuff has happened with the Start menu. And the first thing that caught my eye is that they re relocated the power button, the settings, and the Fire Explorer, and as well as my account. They put everything into the side corner rather than placing it inside the menu. They place everything in the side corner, which is, I, I think this is a great idea doing it here because it gives you more real estate to view all your apps. The next feature that I noticed is your Action Center. The Action Center used to be located right between your sound and your keyboard. Now it's located all the way to the right side of the taskbar. But check this out. There's a nice little bubble that indicates how many notifications that you have. That's pretty awesome, too. So that's a new feature, too. Uh, another thing that I noticed is within apps that you have within your taskbar open and they have notifications such as the mail app, it gives you a nice notification of how many new mails you have or unread mails right here. So that's pretty cool. That's a new, new feature. Another feature that I noticed within the new build is within the tablet mode. So let's click on the notification right here. And let's get inside tablet mode. And within tablet mode, one of the cool things I like about tablet mode is now when you click on the all apps, they give you this big full screen view of all your apps rather than have it on the side. And you have to basically scroll all the way down and locate everything, right? So this is pretty cool. I like this feature a lot. Now within tablet mode, they actually added the option to auto hide your taskbar. To enable it, let's go inside settings, click on settings. And within settings, we want to go to system. And within systems, go to tablet mode, and you're going to get a nice little option that says automatically hide the taskbar in the tablet mode. Now, this option is pretty cool because, it, again, it gives you more real estate to uh, to view everything within your tablet mode. And the next feature that I noticed is now you're able to have Cortana within the lock screen. Whoa, that's pretty awesome. So let's click inside Cortana and let's go inside settings. Now, this option is not enabled by default, so we need to go inside the Cortana settings and enable it. So as you can see right here, lock screen options. Let me use Cortana even when the device is locked. So let's click on on. So I enable that option. So let's lock our computer and see what happens. So let's go in, send a control or delete and lock it. And as you can see, Cortana has been enabled within your lock screen. So that's pretty awesome. Rather than logging in and using Cortana, you could use you could use Cortana on the spot without even logging into your machine. So I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, another feature that I noticed is within the Action Center, they kind of redesign everything. Uh, everything looks kind of bold and nice and clean. Eventually, when you start getting images and stuff, you're going to see it within the Task Manager. Uh, kind of One of the things that I noticed is within the Action Center, everything is a little wider rather than a little skinnier. It used to be a little skinnier than this. Now it's like real wide. Uh, I don't know if you not, guys noticed that, but it looks like they redesigned the entire action center. Now, customizing within your quick action, which is actually located within your action center, has been redesigned as well. So if we go inside all settings and we go inside system and we go inside the notification and actions, as you can see, uh, press and hold and select quick actions, then drag and rearrange them. These quick actions appear in your center. So this is the way that we have it by default, but now you're able to relocate. So let's say we want network to be over here. 
So, and we go back into, see, it, it changes automatically, which is pretty awesome. It just gives us more power to customize our Windows 10 to the way that we want it. Now, another thing that I noticed is now, if you have your mail app set up to your personal email account or your corporate email account, now with this build, they actually integrated your calendar with the clock. So check this out. So if you click on your clock, you're gonna see a new option as today and no events. I have no events. So I'm actually gonna go and click on my start and I'm gonna go to the mail. There we go. And we are going to go into the calendar. Within the calendar, let's create a new event and let's just call it uh, YouTube. And let's hit save and close, right? So if I go back into my clock, you're gonna see YouTube. How awesome is that? One of the cool things about this integration between the clock and your and your calendar app is that you're able to create an event on the spot. So if you click on the little plus, you're able to just, it opens up the calendar for you and you're able to create your calendar invite with no problem. Now Microsoft has changed where the taskbar settings has been relocated. So if you need to change the taskbar settings, you gotta go into your action center and you wanna go into all settings or you could basically just go to start all settings, whichever one is more comfortable for you. And then from here, you want to go into personalization and within personalization, you're going to see taskbar and then you're able to modify and customize the taskbar the way you want it. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed now within the settings app, they kind of redesigned that as well, which I think this is a cool idea. Uh, each little option has a nice little icon. So that's pretty cool. I think on the last builds, they didn't have any icons. It was just basically a text. Now it gives you a nice little visual icon of what that is. Like for background, gives you a nice little picture of a, a of a tree or a mountain and all that good stuff. You know, it was pretty cool. Uh, another thing that I noticed now, your UAC, your user account control dialog box has been redesigned, which is pretty awesome. I don't know why would you redesign this, but they're trying to keep everything consistent with the entire Windows 10 uh, design. Now let's go inside the start menu and within start menu, I'm going to go inside our windows system. So I'm going to go all the way down to our windows system and I'm going to right click our command prompt and I'm going to go to more and I want to run it as in a minute. And this is basically what they did. They redesigned the user account control dialog box. It looks a little bit more friendlier. It looks like it's part of windows 10. It doesn't stand out like the, the last dialog box that they had on the old builds. Another thing that I noticed is within the taskbar, they removed the file explorer. They unpin it. You know, a lot of people from the Windows 10 Insider program did not like the, the file explorer pin because of, I don't know why, but they removed it. <laughs> yeah, so you can still add it, but they just removed it. Uh, another feature that I noticed within the new build is if you go to start and let's open up the file explorer. Uh, if you go all the way to the bottom right here, it looks like they changed the icon of the Fire Explorer. Uh, it looks a little gray and white and yellow. Eh, it's pretty cool design. And the last thing that I noticed within this new build is that if you go inside your settings app, uh, depending where you go, each section has a uh, searching dialog box, which is awesome. The searching dialog box used to be over here at the upper right corner, but they redesigned it and they put it and they placed it at the left side of each of each setting which is pretty cool if you're having problems locating stuff just type in and then just click on it and it will just take you there which is awesome i like that feature a lot especially if you're trying to get yourself used to where everything is at within the settings app this is the best way to find it and that's it guys overall those are my top 15 new features that i found with the latest build which is windows 10 build 14 328 if I miss anything, leave it at the bottom of the comment section. Uh, don't forget about hitting that like button, and i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.